Should we do this silly raw report? Why not? If you are a fan of heat, have I got the show for you? First, we had a Bobby Lashley MVP promo, and he wants to be on the day one pay-per-view in a four-way. And so Kevin Owens comes out. He thinks it's a stupid idea. Seth Rollins comes out. He thinks it's a stupid idea. Biggie comes out. He thinks they're all stupid. And then finally, Pierce and DeVille interrupt, and they say Bobby Lashley will be in the main event of day one in a four-way if, if he can beat Biggie, Seth Rollins, and Kevin Owens all in one night. At which point, fighting babyface, Bobby Lashley says, I accept. No negotiation. No arguments. He's a fighter. Then they announce that uh, there will not be the finals of the RK Bro tournament. So instead, we have Otis versus Riddle. And they went seven minutes. And Otis blocks the RKO, grabs him, world's strongest slam, Pins him clean in the middle of the ring. Orton tries to give Otis the RKO afterwards. Otis escapes. Orton gives the RKO to Chad Gable. And then Otis lays out Orton. Baby faces left lying. Exhibit A. We had Bianca Belair and Dewdrop. Ten minute match. I thought the match was good. Bianca, this time, last week, uh, Dewdrop just walked out on her. This time we got a finish. It was a 450 splash by Bianca. Crowd popped. And then Dewdropped beat her up and left her lying. Exhibit B. Babyface left for dead. We had Bobby Lashley and Kevin Owens. They went four minutes and Bobby Lashley put him in the hurt lock. But before he could even lock the fingers, Kevin Owens taps. You don't want to get hurt before the pay-per-view. Seth is watching in the back. He's just furious that this guy just gave up so easy. So one down for Bobby Lashley. Becky Lynch came out and did a promo. Hey, have you guys been watching Raw? Well, if you have, you've seen this promo 80 times. Becky comes out and says, You fans turn on everybody. You fans wanted Liv to win, but if she'd won, you'd just have turned on her. Blah, 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 blah. Liv Morgan comes out. She wants a rematch at the pay-per-view. And uh, she ends up attacking Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch fights back in a fair fight, beats her ass, and leaves her laying. Exhibit C, babyface, left for dead here on this show. AJ does an interview. He's not going to give up on Omas. We had Dane and Reggie going on a date. Tamina tried to attack her. She got away on a trampoline. This trampoline gimmick is so wacky, but whatever. We had Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler versus Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Austin Theory interfered, and he cost Finn Balor the match. He then laid out Finn Balor and left him for dead. Exhibit D, babyface left for dead here on this Raw show. Can't believe I've remembered what exhibit we're on off the top of my head. We had Nikki Ash all sad backstage. She was so depressed. Uh, Rhea told her to keep her chin up. So then we had Zelina versus Rhea Ripley. And Carmella and Nikki Ash ran in. They ran into the ring in front of the referee. It was not a DQ. But Rhea was distracted. And Queen Zelina beat Rhea Ripley in 50 seconds. Exhibit E. Babyface defeated in the middle of the ring. Seth Rollins faced Bobby Lashley. Kevin Owens ran in and attacked Seth Rollins for the DQ. That way Lashley couldn't go to the pay-per-view. But the, uh, you know, whoever, the villain Pierce came out. And even though we just had a bunch of stupid finishes on this show, this one they can't stand for. They announced that the match will be restarted immediately. Bobby Lashley pinned Seth Rollins with a spear in seven seconds of the restart. We had Austin Theory meeting with Vince. Just a, I don't, I don't even know what to say about this. It doesn't matter. It just, it's just one of those Vince things where like you watch it and you can't figure out what this guy was thinking. I'll talk about it later, maybe. 
Miz TV with Miz and Maurice. Edge comes out. They banter back and forth with Edge explaining what a huge star Miz is. Now he's a future Hall of Famer. How in the world does this make me want to see this match? Edge tries to attack Miz. Miz pulls his wife in front. Miz then boots and gives Edge the skull-crushing finale. Exhibit F, I believe, at this point. Babyface left for dead like a geek in the middle of the ring. But then Maurice is angry at Miz. How dare you pull me in front of you? I'm the mother of two children now. She slaps him across the face, and she leaves. Swerves are coming, everybody. I think you can all see where this is going. Miz beats Edge with help from Maurice. Beth Phoenix runs down. Mixed tag, Royal Rumble or WrestleMania. Take it to the bank, beer money. And then we had Bobby Lashley and Big E in the main event. Bobby Lashley now taking on his third main eventer that he has to beat to get in the main event match at the pay-per-view. And uh, the other two geeks run in because it's no DQ. So he overcomes all of the odds. Him and Big E clear the ring of Rollins and Owens. And then uh, MVP hits La uh, uh, Big E from behind with the thing. You know that thing you walk with, the cane? The gimmick. Uh, the gimmick, and then Big E spears him and pins him. Lashley overcomes all the odds. Exhibit G, babyface left laying in the middle of the ring like a geek. And that's how the show goes off the air. There was not one segment on this show. I'm not making this up. There was not one segment on this show with a babyface where the babyface was not beaten and or laid out like a geek. So... Who watches this show? With all due respect, can you imagine? It's the Christmas season. You got your tree up. You just put up some decorations. You went on a gnome hunt or whatever with your kids. And you sit down to enjoy Monday Night Raw. Babyface beaten. Babyface laid out. Babyface beaten. Babyface laid out. Babyface laid out. Babyface beaten. Babyface laid out. Ho, ho, ho. Enjoy the holidays, everybody. That's your raw report. <laughs> well, if not one baby face stood tall except a heel. Well, if you you look back at that story with the uh, the birth of Christ and everything, and you'll find a lot of negativity in there, and, and a lot of violence and bloodshed and such. So, you know, maybe this is Vince's version of it. This is you know Vince miss for. You know how many lepers Jesus healed? <sighs> You know how many lepers were healed on this show? Zero. The show was about normal people that were, were, they became lepers as a result of heels beating them and smashing them and leaving them for dead. Except for one Superman. Certainly feels like it's Bobby Lashley season again, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm actually. It's I don't Bobby know Lashley I'm... season for the night. Just like yeah. SmackDown when they did the, the three-way tag match to find out who the best team in WWE was and they plugged it for two hours. Find out who the best team in WWE is. Find out who the best team in WWE is. Then they do it and they go, New Day is the best team in WWE tonight. Can you see Vince getting shaky, though, and going, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. Because you got MVP back, that's when that act worked the most. And yeah, you've, we've already seen him plow through most of the roster. But in their minds, well, we've had a, a whole draft happen and everything is new again. And can I could absolutely see Bobby Lashley getting put right back into top position. We don't know what the direction is going to be as far as Kevin Owens goes. Seth Rollins, of course, is going to be there. He's going to be around and Big E is too, but... I could absolutely see, Vin see Vince in this season, Royal Rumble into WrestleMania, banking on Bobby Lashley. Just a matter of who, who he faces. Does he win the title and you have Big E again trying to overcome? Or what exactly do you do there? So, I mean, I, it, I would not be shocked at all if we're going to start seeing a renewed Bobby uh, Lashley interest from Vince McMahon. This person wants to know if Big E is one of the worst book champions in history. Well, let's not get crazy and forget the past been a lot of them <laughs> there there have been this is like when uh, everyone was raving over hook's debut like the greatest debut of all time and they forgot dominic bad bunny pat mcafee all of which i think happened within the last two years totally forgotten about him trust me there have been countless worst book champions than big e is he one of them sure 
But so is almost everybody else, quite frankly. Wasn't Daniel Bryan crushed with a forklift by Kane? Dude, Daniel Bryan won, won that that match at WrestleMania 2014 and was just beaten like a drum in a That's feud really. with Kane afterwards until he had to retire. Ray Mysterio. And it wasn't going to get better if he hadn't retired. Yeah. Ray, Jinder. Mm-hmm. I guess Jinder sort of got well, just pushed. Jinder, but... his ascension was the thing that was the biggest joke. The guy who was couldn't even win a... A, a, a battle royal at WrestleMania it was embarrassed like a geek, didn't have any wins at all, and then we're going to crown him because, hey, we're going to India. And then by the time you get to India for the tour, you've taken the title off of him. Yeah. Stupid. I actually was I actually was so mad about that, and I, and I didn't even want Jinder as champion because it was, like, horrible. But when I had to sit through him being champion for eight months, eight months, and then they took the belt off him, like, the week before they went, I was I just couldn't take it yeah. anymore. I couldn't take it. But I kept watching. Because he had to. It's your job. It's my job. I'm a glutton. It's actually, mm -hmm. no, it's not my job. My job is whatever I want. I can watch whatever I want. Me but too. But there's that part of me that feels I need to watch it. Because I want to do a good job, Mike. Oh, yeah? Is that Back it? in a moment. Observer NXT. Live. It is Wrestling Observer Live today. I'm Oreo the Orca. Do you have a blowhole rating system? Like, if you're really excited about a match, it gives you yeah, this, six scores. this match was, was uh, two and three-quarter holes, if you must know. So I was watching this show, and they had a bunch of videos for this Liv Morgan about how, oh, my whole life I've been a wrestling fan. Oh, I'm going to win my first title ever. There's children cheering and going, oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I do indeed. <laughs> hey, Danhausen, can you hear us? Yes, can you hear Danhausen? Hey! Look at that holy hey. mother of God. Look what we've done here. You broke a leg. Is that true? Uh, it was broken in half, snapped in two. The doctor said it was a tibia and a fibia. Uh, I'm a whale and not a doctor, but is it not a fibula and not a fibia? A fibula? What I know. Perhaps what? the doctor lied to Danhausen. You know, Danhausen, if you were a whale, you wouldn't have broken your leg. This is true because whales don't have legs. What did you grow up watching as a little evil man? Kane ripping off the door when he debuted. Yes. How old were you, Dan Helsen, when that match took place? Oh, about, uh, what was that, 1997, so about 700 years old. Oh. Also, one time Dan Helsen had Dolph Ziggler's theme song as his alarm, and it went off in class. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, it's true. Dan Helsen likes Dolph Ziggler. You like Dolph Ziggler? He's good matches. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.